What's going on guys? This is Ryan with our Chaos Post, and today we're going to talk about the flop that was Terminator Dark Fate and kind of why I think it happened and why most people think that this happened the way that it did. Now, it's very confusing because Terminator Dark Fate, listen, we all know that Rotten Tomatoes critics were an absolute joke um, and it's getting good critics, critic reviews, but the audience reviews are also really good, better even than the critic reviews, which is not something we often see. So I want to kind of dig into why I think that this film is bombing the way that it did. It has something to do with the way that it was marketed and what was said beforehand. But let's get into the actual flop part of it first. So here from, uh, what is this, Movie Web. Terminator Dark Fate may lose more than $120 million after bombing big time. Now, uh, real quick, listen, I'm not, it's hard to say I'm like a huge Terminator fan. Listen, I really like T2. Um, T1 is fine. Everything else is just kind of like, I, I was like, why do we need this, right? Terminator 2 felt like a good ending. You know, they, you know, Arnold sacrifices himself in the end. Uh, they prevent Judgment Day. What do you do from there, right? Everything else seemed like these add-ons. Salvation at least seemed like they were trying to do something different. Go into the future. Talk about what happened in the future. Um, it wasn't executed the best, but at least it was a kind of a different way to go. Everything now just seems to be a different way to rehash it. So, sorry for fans of the Terminator franchise, but it may not be back again for a long time. Terminator Dark Fate opened at the US, U.S. box office this weekend. Results were nothing shy of abysmal for a massive budget blockbuster. The movie's guaranteed to be a big flop, but how much will it? They're predicting $120 million could be lost during its run. Absolutely crazy. Um, that's based on the fact that they... They think it'll be a stretch for it to get to $300 million, and it basically needs to get to 420 to break even. Um, due to the, the budget's $185 million, give or take, then you have to factor in marketing, then you have to factor in the cut that the box office itself is going to take, that these movies are taking for playing it, and it's just absolutely crazy uh, right here. So at this rate, a finish of $300 million globally would seem like a stretch, which would finish well below 2015's Terminator Genesis, which was an awful movie, which earned $440 million worldwide. Perhaps the biggest shame is that Terminator Dark Fate has been embraced by critics and fans in more recent sequels, and that is kind of the puzzling thing, right? Now, I've heard a lot of people on, you know, uh, people that I'm subscribed to uh, or people that watch me talking about in the comments that said they really didn't like it, that they're hardcore Terminator fans, they really hated what they chose to do with everything. But it seems like the casual fans do really enjoy this movie. And I've heard a couple people that have said it's really not that bad too. Like people that I respect. Um, those are more few and far between. But so why did it happen this way? And I do think that it's the way this film was marketed to us. Um, they're trying to do something different. They're trying to send a message. You know, when we first saw the promotional images for this movie, um, you, you know, it was the three of them standing there looking like badasses, right? And it was like, Okay, well, we, we kind of think we see everyone, even though we knew that Arnold was involved in this, you know, this is the way they were going. Even though we heard, heard rumors about John Connor being involved, this is the way they were going. So it kind of makes you question, wonder where are they at? And then we had the real thing. Uh, we had the real thing here with, oh, wrong one. Here it is. Uh, director Tim Miller, he gave these thoughts, this is a couple months ago. It seems director Tim Miller is also guilty of this ridiculous tactic. When IndieWire asked him about his response to Mackenzie Davis being the lead Terminator, Miller responded by saying this. If you're at all enlightened, she'll play like gangbusters. If you're a closet misogynist, she'll scare the F out of you. Because she's tough and strong, but very feminine, Miller said. We did not trade certain gender traits for the others. She's just very strong and that frightens some dudes. You can see online the responses to some of the early stuff that's out there. Trolls on the internet. I don't give a F. So when you say something like that, you come out that hard against people who are just saying it's weird that you didn't use Arnold in the promotional images for, for this. You know, that, that's kind of strange to us because, you know, one thing that people do come back to the theater for for these Terminator movies is to see Arnold Schwarzenegger when he's in them. And, you know, James Cameron was involved in this one too. Um, so you'd think maybe that would get people back. You know, he's actually producing this one. The first one he's had a part in since T2 because of a huge rights issue. And a lot of the things that people didn't like, um, we're not, I won't talk spoilers here, but you've probably heard about them already. Uh, ironically, no one's gone to see this movie, but everyone knows what happens. 
Terminator Dark Fate spoiler, that John Connor twist was James Cameron's idea. And he goes in and he verifies it. Oh, that was my idea, Cameron said, phoning from New Zealand. That was my idea. So the guy who created it, it was his idea to have that John Connor twist in the first five minutes of the movie. So we all thought maybe that was something that Tim Miller decided to do. I was Cameron too. So I really think that so much of you know what we're seeing in the box office is just due to the way it was marketed to us. The people I've talked to said it wasn't as woke as they thought it was going to be based on the marketing. That's why people are staying away from this. People that have seen it like it. You know, we look at Rotten Tomatoes right here. And we've seen some fishy stuff. We've seen some fishy stuff going on with Rotten Tomatoes, no doubt. With the critic score, obviously, no one takes it seriously. No one even cares about the critic score anymore. But with the audience score, i.e. Captain Marvel, when we had a lot of reviews deleted, whatever. This one doesn't seem to be that way. It's been tracking pretty steady since the beginning. And I will admit, uh, admission right here, I posted two reviews last night. Um, one was a positive review and one was a negative review. Um, they both stayed up. They were both there in the morning when I checked. So I don't think anything really fishy is going on, but it's interesting. But I wanna know what you guys take is. This is obviously really embarrassing for the Terminator franchise, which like I said, it's kind of struggling. It's been struggling since T2 to find a reason to keep making movies. This might be the last straw for a long time. Uh, at least if it loses $120 million, it definitely will be. I want to know you guys' thoughts. I want to know you guys' thoughts on why this is happening, what the cause is. Is it just the way it was marketed? Because it was marketed so woke to get those woke points, even though the movie wasn't that bad? Let me know. Tell me in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a special thank you to all my incredible patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, or send something to my P.O. box? All the links are in the description. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.